So with regards to the best ways for the FAR to engage with the faculty, I think first and foremost, you really want to think about being a um, conduit for communications between the athletic department and the faculty. The way it works on my campus is we've actually split the FAR role into um, two separate positions. Um, my primary position as chair of the Intercollegiate Athletics Committee is to really handle the faculty side of things. So I um, report to the Faculty Senate. I am the person that the Senate contacts if they have questions. We've really tried to set it up too so that faculty know exactly who they are approaching, if they have concerns about students traveling um, for athletic competitions. So rather than if a faculty ha member has a concern, rather than going straight to a coach, they are supposed to come to me. This has several advantages. First and foremost, it means we're in a much better position to track any trends. So if there are any problematic trends that are emerging, but each faculty member is only experiencing one small piece of that, um, I can sort of collect that information and then bring any collective patterns that seem problematic back to the Intercollegiate Athletics Committee. In addition, I think on most campuses, the FAR is going to encounter some faculty who have pretty anti-athletics positions um, and are not feeling terribly supportive of athletics. I really think there's a, a benefit in having those faculty member interacting with another faculty member who can sell the benefits of athletics, but also can be really the recipient of some of those angry comments um, and protect the coaches from that, that that material really should stay at the level of faculty. Um, another key component for the um, FAR to consider is to really communicate policies back to the faculty. So on our campus, um, our Intercollegiate Athletics Committee reviews all travel schedules. Many faculty were unaware of that. Um, even doing our best communication, some faculty remain unaware of that. But we've really managed to step up um, our game in terms of communicating with the faculty so that they really understand the processes by which um, we are approving schedules. Um, in addition, we've created policies with regards to taking exams while traveling. It is my job to communicate those back to the faculty. So I think with regards to faculty engagement, the, the, the really core thing is being a conduit for communication in both directions, but also serving as a buffer between um, faculty who have, um, in some cases, some anti-athletic attitudes um, and the athletics department, um, and also to sort of navigate some of the conflicts that may naturally arise because students are missing classes, which upset faculty, but they need to do that in order to travel, um, which is important for their identities as student athletes. So with regards to what information you should be sharing with the faculty Senate, I think first and foremost, the Senate needs to have a really good understanding of the policies and procedures that are occurring within whatever your athletic committee is. So I realize that some campuses um, don't have as tight scrutiny of schedules, but on my campus, we have very tight scrutiny of uh, travel schedules. Um, and so one of the key things, um, one of the key portions of my job is to communicate to the Senate what is the policy? How are schedules handled? What does the review procedure look like? Um, how are uh, concerns addressed by the Department of Athletics? Um, we've also addressed um, testing on the road. We've addressed um, you know, any concerns that faculty are bringing to the Senate about athletics. Um, those then get discussed at the level of the Senate. And then I serve as sort of the representative of athletics. Um, back to the Senate. 